Alrighty. Now we're going to do a uh, tape recording of how we met. <laughs> and give everyone hope out there of how we met and now we're together. So we met when? Back in 1974. 1974. Summer. Around June. June or July. Yeah. To the 40 years to the month. Pretty Wait, cool. And then we got back together. Uh huh. And how did we meet? I lived in Minnesota. And you lived in Ohio. Me and my buddy went fishing. We went to Upper Peninsula. In Michigan. And stayed there and fished a day or two. And for some reason, we decided to go to Minnesota because it had 10,000 lakes. <laughs> so we just take our choice. And somehow, I was just on autopilot because I was stoned and probably drunk. And we just took a right, a left, ended up in Minnesota, drive down the road, these two girls. Now, mind you, he drove <laughs> down the road. When he says he drives down the road, he had to drive <laughs> down Highway 53, down, like, there's barely any town down a Highway 53, and when she hit Virginia, so he and I have no clue where Michigan is, but that's what, or how you came across. And he ended up on Highway 53, and he ended up driving all the way to the very end of the road. You can't go nowhere. <laughs> you can't go. You're either going across the bridge into Canada, or you take a. Uh, left to go on 1171 and right on 1171 that brings you to the east which or west east that takes you to the lake or you go west and you go down 1171 along the Canadian border so you ended up taking a road that ended up with hardly any and you drove all the way to the end of the road. <laughs> all the way. All the way. <laughs> and then you you come up there and you go, you're going to go fishing. So do you remember if it was the first day, did you just get into town or had you been there for a day or two? Or? Uh, I think we fished a day or two. We were going to try another lake. And we just. So you were cruising into town. You were driving around in town, and I just happened to, that night, just happened to, because I didn't drive my mother's vehicle very often, my mom and dad's. But for some reason, that day, my mother and father allowed me to drive their car. They had a green and Bella. And I went back to my girlfriend, Kathy, and we were out cruising, checking everything out. And we saw your silver Vega. We saw these two good-looking guys, and we started following them around all over. <laughs> Beeping, waving, following your own. <laughs> Wherever you went, we went. <laughs> you turned, we turned. <laughs> and then you were, you noticed us in your rear view mirror, huh? Yeah. Yeah, there, hey, I said, uh, told my buddy, said, hey, there's two girls following. Back then, I probably said chicks. 
I pulled over to see what they wanted. And we just started talking. We hit it off right away. Yep, I did Chuck. <laughs> Then we hung around, and then the next day I had to, I had to work. I was a waitress at this itty bitty little restaurant. Said, well, I get up at, I think it was like two o'clock. I had to be in there like at six by six in the morning, and I got off at two or something. So you guys came and ate lunch, which I was very nervous. To live to wait on you guys. And you even remember what you ate. Best right. BLT I ever had. BLD, uh. And he had a shake, if I remember right, because I had made a shake. Yeah. And then, Kath, my girlfriend, Kathy, came. And uh, you guys decided to play a trick on me and clear out the table for me. <laughs> so I go in there. We're just getting ready, and I'm trying to clean up. I go out there to clean out the table, and it's all cleaned off. So I had to run out there and say, hey, you guys. And you guys started laughing. <laughs> <laughs> you give me my malt glasses back. <laughs> I'm gonna get into trouble for that. You guys laugh. Then you gave me gave me over that I washed them and got everything all done and ready and then we took off. Drove around all over. And we have pictures. So we must have went to a liquor store because <laughs> you guys are standing in front of the liquor store. So you must have been amazed where I wasn't. I was only 17. 16, actually. And then I was only 19. Uh-huh. And, well, I just turned, I would have turned 17 in August. And then, uh, we have fun. And I give you my phone number. You give me yours. And then we call each other. Back and forth. Wrote letters. Well, you wrote letters. I called. <laughs> Which, unfortunately... You had a flood in your basement and you lost all my letters, because otherwise that would have been pretty cool to me. Yeah. And then, <coughs> that right after Christmas, I saved all my tip money and I worked in the school cafeteria. And, uh, so I saved up my money and took a Greyhound bus to come and visit you during my Christmas break. I came to visit. And I remember that was my first experience of being by myself way out traveling <laughs> doing things. <laughs> I was nervous. And when I was in where you lived, you lived in a big city where I'm from, a little town. When I was there, I remember we went to a drive in theater and then we ended up, these people next to us, we were smoking pot and they wanted some pot and you guys said no. So they got pissed off, and so you said, we better go, and so we took off, and they followed behind us, and they were throwing bricks at us. 
<laughs> I remember that. It's like, what the hell are they doing? People are crazy here. What's going on? And then, <laughs> then we made it okay. You lost them. And then we got home, and then, then that night, somebody got murdered a couple of places down on you. Which then I got scared. <laughs> what the heck, really? Somebody got murdered two places down? <laughs> that was scary. For a little town girl. <laughs> Anyhow, we had fun. Visited, and then I came back home, and for some reason we didn't get back together. Until Charles called my dad in 1978. And then, so then, my dad calls me and says, Guess who called? And for some reason, my intuition kicked in, and I went, Chuck? And dad goes, Yeah, how do you know? And I go, I don't know. You mean it was Chuck? And he goes, Yeah. And I said, Oh my God, really? Yep, I didn't know if you wanted him to have your phone number. I said, oh, yeah. So then he gave me your phone number. <coughs> and I called you. And you said, come on down. So. And I sent you some money. Yep, and I sold my stuff and packed, packed my dog and whatever belongings I wanted to keep <laughs> in my blue car with white art dog, Plymouth. I love that car. Took off down the road and I followed a gal to... She was going to Detroit, Michigan, so I followed behind her for Detroit. And then after Detroit, then I drove on my own to oh, Dayton, Ohio. Then we were together for a while. And then we split up. Then I would call. We'd keep in touch throughout the years. And then I left Dayton, Ohio, in 1979 in December, right around Christmas. I came back home. And then I didn't see you until 1978. No. 99. <laughs> yeah, what am I talking about? 1996. And I was still a no good drunk. My son and I drove to Ohio and we stayed there in Ohio for a week. And I stayed at you guys' house. Except for one night I stayed at front one night with Michael, otherwise I stayed at your house. Slept on the counter, yeah. <coughs> Anyhow. Oh. Break time. To be continued.